Snow White and the Huntsman was a movie that I enjoyed that I didn't expect to enjoy. At the time when I first saw it, I wasn't completely sold on Kristen Stewart because I had still only known her from the Twilight movies at that point. I liked the direction they went with Snow White and the Huntsman. It was kind of that darker tale of Snow White, and it just worked. It was cool. Um, You can watch my video about it. So when they announced they were doing a sequel, I was happy with that. However, The Huntsman Winner's War, it's not really a sequel, it's kind of a prequel sequel. They wanted to figure out a way to incorporate more Chris Hemsworth and bring back Charlize Theron, so their best method was to do a prequel, but it transitions into a sequel, I wasn't expecting that. Now, even though it's a prequel, they go retcon crazy with everything, changing quite a bit of the things that happened in Snow White. I'll get to a spoiler section, and I'll talk about that. The movie's about Ravina, the queen from the original movie. She is conquering all in her path, and they introduce her sister Freya, who they never mention at all in Snow White. Uh, actually, in Snow White, Ravina had a brother named Finn. So right there, they're already playing Lucy Goosey with the uh, writing on this. Ravina has powers, but Freya is just normal until she gets betrayed, and then it unleashes her icy heart, and she now has uh, Sub Zero powers. Or Elsa powers, I guess, depending on how old you are. She then moves out of the kingdom and moves up north and basically turns everything into a uh, frosted wasteland and sends all of her troops out to kidnap children and she trains them to be her huntsmen. And one of them that she trains is Chris Hemsworth. The story's going along, and then basically, well, this is happening, and then Snow White and the Huntsman uh, defeated Ravina, and then seven years go by, and now we're into the future. And it's like, oh, well, they just kind of completely glossed over the film, which I guess was fine because they didn't need to retell the entire movie, but it just was kind of odd. It was almost like the first movie was uh, not important. The movie was directed by Cedric Nicholas Troyan, who was the guy who did the special effects for the first movie. And because of that, it did have that similar look. Unfortunately, Troyan is not as good a director as Rupert Saunders was. Troyan just didn't have the eye that Saunders did. So the directing, I thought, was just kind of flat. I didn't think that the effects were as impressive as the first one. There were some things that looked good, but the uh, ice effects, which were a large part of the movie, looked really hokey. There was more action this time around, but because of some really sloppy editing, there were a lot of action scenes where you didn't know what the hell happened until the end. It's like, all right, well, people showed up, and they're fighting, and it's cut, 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 the end, and whoever is standing won. I didn't think that the story was bad. I just thought that the execution was very poor. And it's a shame because I feel that if uh, Rupert Saunders had directed this one as well, I genuinely think it would have been a better movie. The Huntsman Winner's War? It's mediocre. And now I'm going to get into some spoilers. The first thing I want to talk about is how much they retconned the shit out of the movie. They completely removed the character of Finn altogether. He was not even mentioned. And it wouldn't have been a huge deal if not for the fact that this led into Snow White. The beginning of the movie, uh, probably the first 15 minutes or so, was all Ravina and Freya, and then Freya training the Huntsman, and then him going off and fighting with Snow White and, and all that, and defeating Ravina. And in Snow White and the Huntsman, they made it seem like Finn was with Ravina constantly since they were little. That's just sloppy. One of the main characters of the original movie and they don't even mention him? The Mirror. They completely changed the whole thing about the mirror. In Snow White and the Huntsman, Ravina's mother puts a spell on Ravina, and it was the whole three drops of blood, and she got that into her system, and that gave her the ability to drain the youth out of uh, girls. And in this, she not only has the ability to drain the youth out of girls, but she also can, like, suck the life out of men. And it didn't make sense because in Snow White and the Huntsman, she poisoned the king and then stabbed him. Whereas in this, the first guy who she's taken the kingdom from, she's playing chess with him, and all of a sudden she starts like doing magic, and he gets the life drained out of him, and it didn't make sense. The other thing was, the power that she had was because of the magic spell that her mother put on her. But in this, they completely changed it and made it about the mirror, and that the mirror had given her all her powers. What?! 
they made it so the mirror was this magical thing and if you weren't strong enough it would make you kill people around you but if you were strong enough it gave you magic powers which led into a scene where there were a bunch of goblins who stole the mirror and it drove them nuts and a bunch of them were killing each other so they had to go get the mirror back the huntsman and sarah and some dwarves and whatnot were going to try to retrieve it and the goblins were stupid they were um blue monkey ape creatures that wore gold chains and had different appendages that were dipped in gold in the first movie, they had the troll sequence, and while the troll was very obviously CGI, I thought it still looked good. They tried to do something akin to that with this, with the blue monkey ape bling things, and they looked awful. When Freya finally gets the mirror, she stands in front of it and does the mirror mirror on the wall, and then it shits out Charlize Theron. She somehow died but went into the mirror, and she's been living in the mirror for all this time. That's the other thing, too. The mirror, in the first one, they kind of left it up to the audience, where Ravina was talking in the mirror, and Finn came out and looked and saw that uh, there was nobody there. So it was like, is she talking to herself, or is the mirror man somebody that only she can see? And in this, she was living inside of the mirror and the mirror didn't talk in this it just every now and then when uh it would get unveiled it would make these weird you know killed them noises and then the people would uh turn against one another and whatnot so i didn't hate it i just didn't like it anywhere close to as much as i liked the first movie Given the dismal box office returns of this, I don't think that they're going to do a third one, even though they left it on a, not a cliffhanger. Uh, It was just like, hey, happy ending, happy ending, Ravina! It was a very lame way to end the movie. The only way I could see them doing a third one is if there's some sort of contractual obligation or if it does really well overseas. But most likely they're not going to do a third one. And to be perfectly honest, I'm fine with that. If they did do a third one, most likely Troyan would come back and direct again, and I don't want to see another one of these directed by him. Not shitting on him completely, maybe he'll get better, maybe he'll do some other movies and uh, uh, improve. There have been a lot of directors uh, over the years where uh, I saw like their first movie and I was not impressed, and then they've done other stuff and they got a lot better. With this, I felt like it was trying to emulate Saunders, but just came off uh, really weak. And oh god, there was a lot of lens flares in this. The Huntsman Winner's War? Eh.